God of War on the PS2 as the greatest video game story of all time. So since there's been like a large lack of games, hopefully Splitgate is good and actually playing it. In that like span of time, I've been replaying a ton of my favorite classics and I remember the story of God of War 1 being really good, but I didn't know it was this good. Mainly due to one fact, one thing that most games tend to forget, and that's tying in gameplay to storytelling. You see reviewers talk about it all the time, a concept called cognitive dissonance. I, I think I said that right, I don't know. But it's basically the idea that the story doesn't align with what you're doing. So the story could be about bringing peace or helping people or whatever, or the theme of the game could be killing is wrong and we need to stop killing or this mindless bloodshed is bad and then you turn around and just kill everything in the gameplay there's like a disconnect between the story and the gameplay all right so how does god of war do this differently in order to do that i need to explain the storyline and i'll get into heavy spoilers for the first game only so if you haven't played the game add this to your watch later and watch it later and while you're at it you know just leave a like you know it's right there it's free go ahead you know, this game is like super easy to play, like any PC you can run it, like just an emulator, or you can even like stream it on PlayStation Now, whatever. Yeah. Kratos was a captain of the Spartan army, and he kept on winning, he kept getting victories, until a barbarian king is about to kill him. And in his last wish, he called on the Greek god of war, Ares, to help him. He asked him, in exchange for the power to defeat his enemies and live, he would pledge his life and essentially become his slave and then kratos was given the blade of chaos two swords that we used throughout the whole game and later we found out that it's actually wrapped into his wrist and he could never take it off it's a sign of bondage to Ares. he is literally chained up and he uses this power to defeat the king and Ares essentially makes him conquer everything and he's on this path of violence and he's murdering and slaughtering everything and Ares has brought kratos's wife and child to the village and he's on like this rampage and he doesn't really know what he's doing and he's just slicing everything essentially Ares manipulated him into killing his family. The ashes of his child and wife are literally on him at all times. This is why he has the nickname, the Ghost of Sparta. Ares did this because he knew that was the one thing tying him to this world, making him human. And he thought if he killed his family, he would be the perfect warrior. But obviously Kratos didn't want to kill his family and he started its quest for vengeance. And now Kratos hates Ares. So his plan was to eventually kill Ares. Kratos learns about Pandora's box, a box that will give you the powers to kill a god. Throughout the game, we go here, go here, and go there. We get to it, and and when he's right about to take the box, he falls into the he dies basically, <laughs> and ends up in the underworld. He meets a grave digger that foreshadowed his quote unquote death. Ah, Kratos. And not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. And takes him right out. When he gets the box, Athena helped Kratos throughout the whole game. And Kratos eventually recovers Pandora's box and uses its power, the Blade of Gods, to kill Ares. Athena fulfills only part of her promise. In return, Kratos is forgiven, but the nightmares of what he's done never go away. She does give him godhood. Kratos, having killed Ares, becomes the new god of war. But it's this final battle that makes this game one of my favorites. It's in this final encounter that before Kratos wins the battle, Kratos is thrown into a dream nightmare state where he has to relive the memory of his family getting killed. However, this time he has to fight back, killing his doppelgangers and and protecting his family and in order to protect your family you have to take away your own health to give back to your family the gameplay aspect that makes this final fight perfect is that the circle button throughout the whole game the circle button allowed you to grab enemies and set up crazy cool combos 
where you can rip people's head off, use them as weapons to kill other enemies. However, now you use it to hug your family and in hugging your family, you take away your own health to give back to them. And you have to watch this meter as you kill the other enemies or as you kill your other doppelgangers. Also reinforces the theme of the game of guilt and taking responsibility for your actions. Beautifully finishes the arc of the game and everything is perfect. It's super hard too, so it's like it's fun to actually play. The way the gameplay and story come together to create an experience is what sets games apart from movies. Which is like why I'm, I value it so much in a video game. Because no other medium could have this level of interactivity, if that makes sense. I don't know, in my opinion, this is one of the best video game stories ever. Just because I don't think any game seamlessly blends story and gameplay the way this game does like the core gameplay of chaining up combos and killing your enemies and it works into the story by tricking yourself into thinking the actions that you're committing have a motive i don't want to get into spoilers for the later games but essentially you realize kratos is a bit of a hypocrite Th that's all i'm gonna say and it did this in 2005 no other game was like we're telling these kind of complex storylines and this is before the rise of the anti-hero before breaking bad and all these shows had like villains being the good guy and bad guy at the same time so it was also ahead of his time i mean there are a couple indie games that do come close but like this game also has like massive budget constant set pieces and it's like greek mythology so like there's titties that makes it the greatest game of all time all right that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed uh comment down below why i'm right because i am uh leave a like subscribe and yeah i don't know i might post maybe who knows whatever bye